Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my second Handmade Hearts and Things video. I'm sharing a 14 heart and Valentine's themed projects over the next couple of weeks leading up to Valentine's Day and I have got some apron treat bags and a matching card using brand new Mama Elephant products. Now, while these projects are heart themed and definitely can be used for Valentine's Day, they don't have to, which is what I'm trying to do with quite a few of my handmade hearts and things projects so that it can extend the life of the product. I always love a good heart themed project, don't you? So in the January Mama Elephant release, this is the January 2021 release. They have a brand new treat bag. It's the apron treat bag. You guys, this is so cute. So instead of the traditional treat bag, it makes an apron shaped one, which I think is darling if you wanna give um, all kinds of little treats and goodies inside of it. If you have the regular treat bag, I think it's pretty similar in size. Um, obviously it just has that apron shape. I have pre die cut off camera the components I'm going to use and yes originally I was going to use this new milkshake stamp and die set to decorate the bags um, because I was trying to implement more of the new release into the projects. This was early early on and I just didn't feel it. I really wanted to use a peaking die cut critter of some sort out of the pocket and that's the direction I went and I'm so glad I did. Just stay tuned for next week because I will be using this stamp set. So I am adorning each pocket, which has a cute little scalloped edge, isn't that darling, for the treat bags with this sentiment. This is an older sentiment from the Handcrafted Happiness stamp set from Mama Elephant. So pulling in a little bit of old product with the new, which you guys know is my jam. I love doing that. And after I have heat embossed this sentiment on the pocket, I'm gonna go ahead and fold those score lines and use a bone folder to reinforce them and make them nice and flat. For the apron treat bag, you're gonna to need to die cut it twice. I will tell you, you're gonna to need to use cardstock or 12 by 12 pattern paper or eight and a half by 11 pattern paper for that matter. Um, because the die is bigger than a six by six piece of pattern paper. I tried, it did not work, which is mostly the kind of pattern paper I have anymore. If you had a six by eight sheet of pattern paper, which I did, I just didn't have two of each pattern because um, I don't have a ton of it, that would also work. So just a few little options for you and I wanted to let you guys know that. I am putting double-sided tape, it's nice and strong, on the three tabs for the apron pocket. And then I'm gonna fold them in and we're going to adhere this to the front of one of the aprons. I think it's so much easier to assemble this if your bag is still flat. At least this part. The rest of it you can really assemble, but I want that pocket to be nice and secure. Then we're going to fold it on the score lines of the apron pocket. And I like to just reinforce all of these with the bone folder. And then be kind of be careful with the side seam there because it does fold into that box shape. Looking good. Let's do the other side really quick. And then I'll show you how I like to assemble these. I'm gonna do this one more time on camera. Um, hopefully it shows you just how easy it is to assemble a box. Anytime I have a treat bag, I said box, treat bag. Anytime we have um, something like this, this is my recommended way of adhering them. So it's gonna go together like this. Obviously I haven't put any adhesive on it yet. Isn't it cute? I mean, it's just the most ador adorable idea for a treat bag. I'm gonna go ahead and take my double-sided adhesive then, and on these two long sides, we're gonna put adhesive. On the little short tab, we're gonna put some adhesive. And then on the back side of one of the big flaps, 
the flap that's gonna go over the other one to reinforce the bottom, I'm gonna put a couple more strips of adhesive. So that's all the adhesive. Let's go ahead and remove one of the pieces of adhesive and make a long strip with the two sides of the treat bag and adhere those together really good. Then let's fold in the other side and remove this strip and fold the bag over again because we've already scored all those lines. Remember, line it up and press that down. So there's our first basic shape. Then we're just gonna peel off the backing paper from the rest of the pieces trying to keep my fingers out of it as much as possible because I do want the bag to retain its shape. Then we're just going to fold the two little tabs in, fold the first piece in, and then the piece that has the adhesive on it. And there is our treat bag, easy as that. Then we can put some ribbon or twine through the pre die cut holes in the top to hold that shut after we have filled our apron with some goodies. So here are the rest of the components for my treat bag. This rolling pin does come with the apron treat bag. I have die cut it from red cardstock and also a brown cardstock. From the brown cardstock piece, totally a happy accident. The die collection, I think it was probably the first die collection from Mama Elephant, is called the Basic Dies. And it has this little strip of hearts that totally fit on the rolling pin. So I die cut them from that first brown rolling pin and layered the red one behind. You could also just take the hearts and pop them on the brown one. There's lots of options here. I did it this way um, for the rolling pin that I'm going to adhere just to the top of the pocket. I really wanted to use the components from the um, apron treat bag because they're just cute. There is an oven mitt, the rolling pin, and a whisk. I'm only gonna be using the rolling pin and oven mitt for the, the apron treat bags, but I will be using um, all three of those kitchen accessories on the gift card I'll do here in a minute. So I am gonna speed up even more the process of putting the another treat bag together. My camera actually, the battery died right as I was assembling the cat to tuck in the pocket on the last one. So I thought I'd just go ahead and show the whole thing again as far as assembly of the treat bag. We're gonna assemble the red treat bag off camera. I don't wanna spend too, it, too much more time on that. We wanna get to the cute little card. But I did wanna share this just one more time and how easy it is. And then of course, assemble that kitten that's peeking out of the pocket. So a lot of times I do love combining stamping and die cutting, but I also am a huge, huge fan of all die cut type of projects, maybe with just stamped sentiments, or in this case, there's that stamped phrase on the apron pocket. You get the idea. So anyway, I really, really wanted to use one of the older die collections from Mama Elephant to tuck inside of my pocket because I wanted to have some like paws popping up holding that rolling pin. That's kind of why I adhered it where I did. It's not just hanging out there in outer space. Um, and so the inside pop bunny and cat die collection is cute. There is also like a bookmark at one that has like a dog and a bear, I believe. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, that are the same size. So any of these guys will be cute. This one comes with the little face and paws. I use the paws interchangeably between those two die collections and they both are older die collections. They've been out for a couple, over a couple years now, but I love mixing and matching. And I know you guys mention a lot that you really like seeing those projects that don't just focus on new. And while this video, yes, is showing you some new stuff. Hopefully hopefully, this gives you some ideas of things you can um, create with things that you might already have. Or maybe you wanna pick up that apron treat bag because it is pretty cute. Um, you can use some stuff you've already got at home, which I always think is a good idea. 
I am just assembling the cat. Of course, I am only using the head and the paws. And then I did make this bow. It is from the Basic Die Collection. Um, it's a little dimensional bow. And I am simply kind of gluing two of the three pieces for it together to glue to the top of the cat's head and then holding it in place with some tweezers. I'm going to tuck then the head in the pocket, kind of at an angle to give it a little more character. So, and then I've already glued the paws to the rolling pin while I was talking a minute ago, sorry about that. And so it looks like it's peeking in, uh, like it's tucked in the pocket and she's peeking up and holding that rolling pin. So my plan for these treat bags is actually to make a little set of them for some friends because I thought it'd be fun to just tuck some little goodies inside and give these to some girlfriends because they are super cute. And I thought it would just be a fun way to give a, a gift and they were very quick and easy to put together. Now the gift tag, I can write my friend's names on the back of this little oven mitt. I had extra hearts left over. Um, I'm trying to think, oh, I, die, I put one down below the sentiment. And so it does die cut that set of five. I just tucked or uh, adorned the little oven mitt with three of those and then put some twine through the top and tied it to there. And of course, like I said, I can put their name on the back of that tag. So this is the card and I am using the components from the apron treat bag that I was just talking about. I die cut them all from white cardstock and I'm going to customize them with some Copic markers. And this is super speedy coloring. Um, I know I've sped it up, but it was super speedy coloring. This card literally did not take me very long at all. It's really simple, but have you ever had someone like bring you a meal and I always like to send them a thank you card. So that's kind of what inspired this particular card. Um, I thought the components were super cute lined up in a row. And then there are all kinds of new sentiments from the new Easy Sentiments stamp die collection. And we're gonna use one of those little strips to adorn this. You could obviously use any sentiment you want, but that's kind of the direction I was going with this particular card. And I just another way to use some of these new products that um, are released today. So, so super exciting. In fact, everything on this card is really new. Um, just wanted to show some of the other new dyes. So I am coloring in everything with some sharp shades of red. Our 29, 46, and 39 for the oven mitt and then for the red part and then for the peachy pink part are... 32 and 35 and then anything that is brown so the the rolling pin and then the handle of the whisk that's going to be e55 and e57 once i have my coloring done let's just really quickly wipe up my glass work surface so i don't transfer any of that ink and i'm going to decorate my oven mitt with some little stripes And I'm using a ruler because I guess I was being a little extra. I wanted the stripes to be really even. I wanted it to look like a little um, plaid oven mitt. So I did some little dots up at the top with my white gel pen and then just the back and white, back and forth stripes. Um, we'll do a little highlight on the rolling pin, not anything too much, some little uh, stripes around the base of the whisk and that is good. So this new frame, and there's the stamps or the greetings and dies. We're, let's start with easy sentiments. So this is a brand new stamp die combo from Mama Elephant, and it will stamp three sentiment strips at a time, and then the die lines up to die cut them. Um, very awesome. I love, love sentiment strips, and so this is really right down my alley. Um, you also could do a bunch of these ahead of time and just have a bunch of greetings. They're all really good and nice to have on hand and very easy to pop on any kind of card. I am going to stamp the trio that I thought 
you know, worked good with this. And I'll just show you really the sentiments were interchangeable. I could have used any of them. Um, I stamped them on white cardstock with clear embossing ink and I'm heat embossing with antique gold embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. Um, we've got your kindness touched my heart. My heart is still smiling and thank you for all the little things. We're gonna use your kindness touched my heart mostly because I was looking for a sentiment that that kind of centered around hearts so that my projects would kind of flow together. <laughs> and I just thought I liked the kindness, your kindness touched my heart because like I said, I created this card with like somebody brings you a meal, you wanna send them a little thank you. Um, I just like the little kitchen items and whatnot. So it's a pretty simple card design, but I really like how it turned out. So. It, what makes it easy with this die, because obviously the strips are solid, you line up those little stars and gives you some little star accents too, which is cute. Um, it's easy to die cut. I'm gonna play around with some of these sentiment strips just to kind of show you what they look like. So there's thank you for all the little things. My heart is still smiling. And then of course the one I'm gonna use, your kindness touched my heart. So you could use more than one if you wanted to. There's lots and lots of options. Like I said, I think the sentiments are all really good. So you'll probably see those other two pop up on some of my projects next week. Wink, wink. Anyway, uh, I put some foam adhesive on the back of this strip. And I've already die cut off camera some frames. This is called the oval deco frame. And you're going to be like, Nicole, that is not an oval. I know, but there is an oval frame included in this set. So that's kind of where you're getting that. You're going to see more of this again next week. I will be using both frames. So I just used the big A2 sized frame for my card share today. I did um, obviously I die cut the pattern paper I'm going to be using in the center. So I have a frame from that that I'm just gluing to the back of my metallic gold frame. It has all this beautiful detail to it as well. I think this frame is fantastic. I Mama Elephant does amazing frames. Um, and this one is just so, so pretty. And I really liked it out of the metallic. You can see it's got all the little dot detail as well as the um, detail in the corners and on the sides. Um, so there's three layers, I guess that's where I was getting at. So I've got my gold, the pattern paper one I used as another layer, and then another white one. That's just gonna pop it up and give it a little dimension. It is completely A2 sized, meaning it's going to go edge to edge on the front of this side fold white card base. And I was avoiding adhesive anywhere that there are cutouts, that decorative areas. And then we're just going to pop our pattern paper. This is a Lawn Fawn pattern paper right there in the center. This is one of the same patterns I used for the little apron treat bags. And then let's go ahead and just adhere our kitchen accessories right to the center of this little liquid adhesive for the whisk and the rolling pin because they're a little bit more um, fine detailed. I'm trying to figure out which direction. No, not up and down. Let's do it that way. And our cutie pie rolling pin. I don't know why I like the rolling pin so much, but I really do. Who knows? And then we'll take our sentiment and we're going to pop that up. But I think it needs some little heart accents, as I mentioned, because I picked this one purposely because of the heart. And remember that basic die collection? Well, I die cut some hearts from that off camera. I still had it out. Didn't have to pull anything extra out. I always love a good little heart accent. We're gonna peel the backing paper off our sentiment strip and layer it right in the center. I am using some tweezers. I want this to be as straight as possible since it's overlapping these, but I like it because it's nice and small. And then we're gonna put a little dab of glue on each end of the sentiment strip just off to the side there. 
and add our little red hearts. And you guys, that is it. That is all it took to make a very quick and easy thank you card for somebody. So I love that. I hope that has inspired you maybe to do some similar things, um, either with this die collection if you get it or some of your die collections at home. Let's take a look now at the four projects I created today, the apron treat bags and that card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my second Handmade Hearts and Things video. The supplies I used to create these projects are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new paper crafting video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.